All right, I ask all the Sunday school teachers, please come forward. All our Sunday school teachers who teach us Sunday school here. Take a dedication. And the word of the Lord reminds us, those who do the work of the Lord should not do work lazy. They do a diligent, faithful work. And I appreciate these teachers. And they are going to hand the trophy for each of their students, students in their class. Uh, Minu, uh, your students' name should be Peter Sa. Peter Sa. Caleb Roy. God bless you, Joji. Lucy, God bless you. And uh, Minu, God bless you. I have a, a gift for Uncle Sam. Our oldest uh, Sunday school teacher is Uncle Sam. He's 85 years old. He comes every Sunday, when rain or snow. He cannot be starved. Thank God. Yes, he can read. <laughs> Eighty-five year old, when there is snow or ice or rain, he will always come and teach. <laughs> I want to uh, recognize some of our Sunday, uh, our uh, children here uh, who come to our Sunday service and uh, help us out. 
and study and uh, do uh, different different things. I like to call upon some of the children here. Please come forward. Uh, this is uh, on behalf of this church. I want to show again the token of our love. Again, the gift that we are giving you may not be the biggest gift, but it's the thought behind that. That's the way it should be taken. It may not be the gift that you wanted, but I thank God for my daughter Tina spending great amount of time to go buy all this gift in her busy schedule. I want to call some of the name of the uh, children here. Please come, Peter. God bless you. Stand here for a moment, Peter. He didn't know how to do drum. Right? God gave this young man the ability. We pray for him every every Sunday, every month, every day. Now he do drum. Much, much better than anything in a man. He is our drum player. Basically come and do the drum for our, our poet. Thank God for you. Sujara. God bless you and Sujada is one of our choir members. She comes and sings in the team every Sunday morning. And I thank God for her faithfulness. May the Lord use her in many days. Shibani. I also thank God for Shibani. She also is a, one of the choir members, uh, sings very good and do the work for the Lord and encourage, encouraging our youth and the youth group. May God bless you. Kasi Arroy. God bless you. I know, I know in that uh, gifted child of God, she comes and uh, help us to uh, have the choir and sing with in the choir. God bless you. Priya. God bless you, Priya. She is also one of the choir members sing here in the church and very active in the church. God bless you. Christopher. God bless you. He, uh, he is very good in uh, doing his mono act and uh, do very good. I really was uh, happy to see what you've done today. God bless you. Caleb. So active in the uh, youth group. God bless you for everything that you are doing. Stephen. God bless you. This young boy, after church, take the broom, he sweep the whole floor and vacuum the church house. And I really appreciate what he does. They are very stunning. More than he can do. John. Comes here, help us out uh, setting up the place and uh, do the uh, projection for us on the computer. And thank you for everything that you are doing in this church to help us out in the ministry. <laughs> Tina. She's not a Sunday school teacher, she's not a... <laughs> she's not a Sunday school teacher, she's not a, uh, a student of the Sunday school. But one thing she does, I, I personally appointed her as a music director of this church. She is the one to do the music and coordinate the music and lead the choir. She picked the song for every Sunday. That what I should do, she do it for me, for the glory of the Lord. Every Sunday mornings, worship, music, all the songs, she spent her time prayerfully and spent time to select the songs appropriate for the message. Right after the message, she'll have a song for, for the church. And she coordinated with our children 
and really appreciate what she does in her busy schedule. Even when she doesn't have time, she comes from the uh, University of Michigan, from there to come here to do the... Sorry, Michigan State, I'm sorry. Michigan State. I'm, I'm sorry, I scratch what I said. <laughs> she comes here and uh, help us out. I want to recognize somebody who works all through the year here and uh, put our uh, youth meetings together and this evening's program he worked behind the scene and he is the youth director of the church, Joji Kuriakos. <laughs> God bless you for all the good work that you're doing and continue to do the good work. And he's a good speaker also. And I invited him to come and speak for a special meeting one of these days. He's going to do it and I'll let you know when that is. And he's preparing the message, I'm pretty sure. He speaks very, very nice thoughts. God bless you for all the things that you have done for this church and the youth group. Did I miss anybody? And I hope not. Again, thank you all for coming. Let us pray for one another. Continue to grow in grace. And I welcome you to come back and worship with us whenever you have, uh, if you are not part of this church member, if you have time, if you don't go to another church, please come and worship with us. Let us thank God for everything that he is doing. Let us conclude in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this evening time. You have done everything beautifully. Lord, I thank you for all the precious children and the dear brothers and sisters, friends and family, the church family who came and to make this a blessing. Lord, I pray you bless everyone as we go back. Give us traveling mercy and protect us. We thank you for your presence in this place. And we give you all the honor and glory for you making it possible to have this event this evening. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. May the love of the Father, the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Please do not leave. We have a Christmas dinner for all of you, King. Every young and old. Please join together.